I'm Amy Dugal and I'm a biochemistry major from California State University Channel Islands and this summer I'm working at the Hammond lab. My research is based on looking at cellular response as well as cell behavior in presence of this biopolymer. I'm looking at cell migration as well as cell proliferation and cell death, apoptosis, when these cells are treated with the biopolymer. And I'm doing assays to accomplish those studies. So in the Hammond lab we're focused on developing nanomaterials for a wide range of applications ranging from treatment of diseases to regenerative medicine. So Amy's project is really foundational in looking at the interaction of this new polymer that we've developed in the lab with cells. So we want to characterize exactly how this polymer interacts with cells so we can develop new biomaterials based on this polymer. I'm currently doing the BRDU cell growth assay and I'm doing this assay to understand the cell growth when these cells are treated with PPLG hyaluronic acid grafts. And I'm doing this to really understand the cell growth and response to the, the biopolymer that has been synthesized by way and really understanding the architecture and the molecular weights of the biopolymers that would be optimum. So I'm conducting the scratch test or the scratch assay. And scratch assays are crucial in cancer studies as well as wound healing. So once these cells are scratched, they're washed, and after washing, they're treated with the biopolymeric treatment. The biopolymeric treatment can be manipulated based on the molecular weight. Once the biopolymeric treatment is added to the cell culture, we can visualize whether the biopolymeric treatment inhibits or promotes wound healing in these cells. These are the cells that I have just scratched and this is part of the scratch assay and this assay is used to understand cell migration. We use the microscopes to really visualize and understand cell migration. So this is the scratch that I just created not too long ago. And we can see other wells as well. Here's a larger wound created. Here's another one. And then these cells, they're treated with the treatment and then incubated and visualized. So after 8 to 12 hours of incubation, we can see that the cells have clearly closed the gap quite a bit and there seems to be cell migration and wound healing to a certain extent. This assay is for us to study cell migration and cell migration is an important phenomenon when you're trying to study development, maintenance, as well as metastasis and invasion in cancer cell lines.